Okay, so we're going to do the product property of exponents. And you should have already done your investigation. But let's remember this. So if I have, sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot that I changed how large this was. Okay, so if I have two, now five here, this right here is considered your base. This right here is considered your exponent. The whole thing, this whole thing is your power. Okay, so when you don't have bases that are the same, you just multiply. Okay, these bases are not the same. They are totally different. So all we do is multiply those. So I would get six over here. The bases are not the same, so I multiply, I get negative 20. These bases are not the same, so I multiply, I get 40. These bases are not the same, so I get negative 60. These two bases are not the same, I just multiply them, I get 21. Now, if I look over here, these bases are the same. And I write this out in expanded form. I have two X's, then I have three more X's. That gets me a total of five X's. Now, the rule behind this says that I add the exponents. But for what we're doing right now, you are going to write it in expanded form. So to multiply powers with the same base, you add the exponents and you keep the base the same. Okay, so we're going to look down here and it says multiply. Simplify when necessary, when exponent is 5 or lower. So if I look at this one, I'm going to expand this. 2 times 2 times 2. And I'm actually going to switch colors real quick. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7. So how many do I have in total? I have 10. Now, could I have done 2, 3 plus 7 to get that? I could have. But we're not doing that quite yet. Over here, it says that I have 3 3s. Then it says that I have 2 3s. So how many total threes do I have? I have five threes. Now, what I do is on my calculator, hopefully and everybody has their calculator, that they are going to multiply three times itself, five times and get 243. Okay, next one. I have negative 5 times negative 5. Then it says I have one more of those. So negative 5. So how many total negative 5s do I have? I have three of them. So negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 will get me a negative 125. This one. Okay, so... There are no numbers for the base on this one. We just have variables. So one, two, three, four, five. So how many total C's do I have? I have seven of them. Okay, so this next part, it says multiply the numbers in front first. Okay, when they're, if their bases are not the same, we're going to just multiply them. So if I look at these two right here, those bases are not the same. So I'm just going to write it out front. I'm going to be multiplying those together. Then I'm going to take the two X's from here. And then I'm going to take the five X's. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put it all together. 
negative 3 times 4 will get me negative 12, and then I'll have x to the seventh power. This next one, again, I'm taking the numbers, the coefficients, and I am multiplying them together because they do not have the same base. Then, in this first part, I only have 1m. In the second part, I have 5m's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I put it all together. Negative 2 times negative 8 is, oops, I did not really do that, is 16. And then I have a total of 6m's. This next one, I take the numbers that are out in, that are coefficients of each one of these. So negative 6 times 2. Then I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I have one more. And then I put it all together. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 and I have nine X's. Okay, down here, I have five negative fours, and then I have three negative fours, so, how many total negative 4s do I have? I have 8 of them. And since that exponent is higher than 5, I'm just going to leave it like that. I look at this. My coefficients here do not have the same base. Then, now this one is going to get a little... I have 2Js. I have 5Ks. I have one, two, three, four M's. And then over here, I have one, two, three, four J's. That was horrible. I have two K's and I have an M. So let's look at this. Okay. That would get me negative 10. Then I look, I have two J's here. I have four J's there. So that'll give me six J's. I have five K's there, two more K's, so that'll get me seven. And then M's, I have four M's there, and I have one M there, so that's five. Next, I look over here. I have two, three, four, five, Six negative y's and then I have one more negative y so I end up with a total of seven negative y's okay down here now find the missing so I have something right here times and then I have one two three sixes and that needs to equal, it needs to come out to, I should have done less space, or more space over here, four, five. So, I'm gonna do it like this. Actually, I'm gonna use my highlighter. So I already have three sixes, I have three sixes. Uh, how many more sixes do I need over on the other side? I need two more sixes. So my missing exponent is two. Over here, oops, I want to leave it like this. This times this, that will get me my 12. So I'm not worried about the 12 part. It's already there. Then it has a certain amount of X's times 1, 2, 3 X's here. And then I have the 12 already. But then I have, uh-oh, I didn't leave myself enough space at all. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. 
So I have three here, three here. How many, how many are left over? How many do I need to make this to be 12 over here? I would need nine of those. So my missing exponent is nine. Okay, so we're gonna come down a little bit for this one. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I have missing amount equals, and then I have 20 of these bad boys. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so I have five. I have one, two, three, four, five. How many more do I need to fit into this spot right here? I would need 15 more. So my missing exponent would have been 15. Okay. Now, we're gonna go down to this page right here. Quotient property of exponents notes. So here we go. On this, same thing. We're going to divide or we're going to simplify our fraction. So 16 divided by 8, 2. Negative 24 divided by 6 is negative 4. Negative 30 divided by negative 10, 3. 25 divided by negative 5, negative 5. Negative 16 divided by 8, negative 2. So, you just divide. If the bases are not the same, you just divide or simplify. Now, what happens here? What does this really mean? So, it means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on top. And then I have 1, 2 on bottom. Now, when I... Cancel these out. X divided by X gets me 1. X divided by X gets me 1. So what have I left with? I have 3 X's on top divided by 1. You could write it like that, but we really just write it like this. Okay? So let's look over at this one. We have 7 to the 3rd in the numerator. So 1, 2, 3 over... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Notice how we have more 7s on the bottom. That means our answer is going to need more 7s on the denominator. So if I divide 7 by 7, that'll get me 1. 7 divided by 7 will get me 1. 7 divided by 7 gets me 1. So what is left in the numerator? 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. What's left in the bottom? 7 squared, which is the same thing as 1 over 49. So, to divide powers with the same base, you subtract. Well, so let's see if that worked. Let's look over here. x, 5 minus 2. Did that get me x to the third? It did. Now, this one, look at it. There are more 7s on bottom, so we would need to do this way. And yes, that would still give us 1 over 7 squared. But we're not doing it that way right now. We are doing expanded form on all of these. So 4 times 4 times 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, over one of these. So I'm going to cancel these out, and I'll get 1s there. What's left? There are seven fours in the numerator. This one. We have six nines. So, I mean, nine sixes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I like how I got bigger and bigger as we went along. And then in the numerator, I have one, two, three, four, five. I cancel them out because 6 divided by 6 is 1. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 
divided by 6 is 1. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So those went away, and I'm left with 6 to the 4th. Now, didn't we say in our last thing, or on the last page, that if the exponent is less than 5, that you need to multiply it out. So that would be 1296. And that's 6. Can't tell. There we go. On this next one, oh, it has lots of stuff. Um, am I gonna have, I'm going to put it down here. So in the numerator, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I have two fives. Over, I have two twos. And I'm going to go ahead and put the threes under each, the threes under the threes. And then the five under the five. Why am I going to do that? Because it's easier to cancel out. Those cancel. These cancel. And this cancels. So what am I left with? I have 2 to the third power. I have 3. And I have 5. So that's the same thing as saying 8 times 15. So that's going to get me 120 as my answer. Okay. Next one. 5 to the 7th power. So, 5, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, over 1, 2, 3, 4. So then I go ahead and cancel out. And I would get 5 to the 3rd, which is 125. Then, this next one. Oh, another one where it's going to be long. So, I'm going to start off down here. I'm going to do negative 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then that would be over. Negative 2. Negative 2. And then it's 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? And then we cancel out. These two cancel here. So I've got negative 2 to the third power times these cancel here. I have 4 to the third power. Oops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 7 squared. So this is going to be 8 times 64 times 49. And good thing I have a calculator so that I can multiply that out. Let's see. So 8 times 64 times 49. That gets me 2,000, or sorry, 25,088. Next one. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I have 1, 2, 3. So then I do my canceling out. Bam, bam, bam. So how many X's do I have left? I have 9 X's left. Okay. So down here, we're going to put it all together. So, I look at the coefficients. 12 divided by 2. 2 goes into 12 six times. 
Or I could have been smart and written it as 12 divided by 2 times. And then we have this. And we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1 of them. And then do my canceling. That would still be 6. That would still be 1. And those could cancel. So I would get 6w to the 4th power. This next one. So I have 24 over negative 4 times. And then I have, oopsie daisy, come on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I have an M. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, all over <coughs> I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I have 1M and 1, 2, 3, 4. So then I do some canceling out. Negative 4 goes into this. Um, we come out with negative 6. Cancel, 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 cancel. So I have k to the third. The m's totally cancel out, the n's. And so then we're left with n to the eighth. So negative six, k to the third, n to the eighth. Oops, one more over here. So we have six over 14, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. That was horrible. And we have 1, 2, and we have 1, 2. Let's do some canceling out. 6 doesn't go into 14 evenly, and 14 doesn't go into 16 evenly. But 2 goes into it. 2 goes into it. Cancel, 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 cancel. So we are left with 3 in the numerator, x squared in the numerator, y to the 4th in the numerator, all over 7. Okay, so next one. So here in the numerator, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, over. I have 1, 3. I have two x's, I cancel out, I have 3 to the third, I cancel these out, I have x squared, so that's going to get me 9x, oh, try that again, why did I say 9, that would get me 27x squared, okay, this one, uh-oh, so I'm not sure what's going to go on top, on the bottom, I have 3 times 3. And then over here, I have 4. I have. So, somehow, I have to figure out how much would be up here. Well, I know all of this has to be over there. That all has to be over there. So, 1, 2, 3. Four, and then I need these two, I need these two to be up top so that I can cancel them out. Bam, bam. So how many threes was this in total? So I don't know why I put X. So it would be three to the sixth power. So the missing exponent on this would be six. Okay, so on this one, I have coefficients of 20 and 8. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Over, oops, I didn't mean to do that color. I have two X's. I have one Y. I do some canceling out. Well, 4 goes into this 5 times. 4 goes into this 2 times, cancel, cancel, 
and that cancels. So I have 5 in the numerator. I have x to the 8th in the numerator. I have y to the 3rd in the numerator. And on the bottom, I've got 2. Okay. Is that it? No, I have one more. That's all I have is one more? Yes. So negative 20, negative 6 times... So... On top, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have three Zs. And on bottom, I've got 1, 2. I've got 1, 2, 3. So let's do some canceling. Negative, negative goes to positive. 2 goes into this 10 times. 2 goes into this 3 times. These two cancel, and all three of those cancel. So I have 10 on the numerator, I have x to the 6th on the numerator, and on the denominator, I have 3. Okay, excellent.